Right. I can make some progress now. Right, woman, open the door. Here you are. This is my warrant card. It is in your own interest to cooperate with me. Do you trust me then? I suppose so, but I'd better ask the lady first. Stay here and open the gate. I'll talk to the lady myself. All right then. Come in. I have to tell the lady you're here, but I don't know if she wants to talk to you. Tell her, please. It's urgent. It is about Sir William. Oh, I thought so. Right way. Please follow me then. Well, the same maid that Tim met earlier. <laughs> My lady ordered me not to let anybody in, but I'll make an exception as you are from the police. Thank you. But you'll have to promise me to stay here. I'll be right back, and don't touch anything. I promise. Tell Lady Miriam that I have urgent news, which I wish to discuss personally. That won't work. My lady refuses to see anybody in person. If she wishes to speak to you, she'll call you from the workroom. Wait at the telephone, please. What kind of a nutbag is this woman? Lady Miriam is as mysterious as her grandson. The interview with her probably won't be easy. Considering the direction the maid went, I don't think Lady Miriam is in her bedroom. Did she mention Sir William's workroom? But I suppose I won't get there either. Not without a good reason and a proper warrant. As the maid said, this is only a home line. I can't call anywhere else. An electric bell at the door, and now a telephone from the workroom to the hall. I had thought that the Lewis family had financial problems, but suppose I was wrong. Black drapery, otherwise known as a curtain. I'll just have a look. Nobody would mind. Ooh, I know that. Oh my god! The gem I found in the tomb is the same as the one in this ring. It can't be a coincidence. Sir William must have been buried with it. I wonder where the ring is now. Probably still Excuse me, sir. What are you doing there? Nothing. Only looking. The lady won't accept any personal appointments. But I need to speak to her. If you wait for a moment, she'll call you here. Right here? Yes, sir. You can sit down if you want. No, thank you. There's no time for me to be sitting around. Good day, madam. Detective Sergeant Briscoe, at your service. I'd like to offer my deepest sympathy, but I also have bad news for you. Ah, my superior has already talked to you. I apologize. He probably forgot to tell me. So, let's proceed to the problem. I have several questions, but if you don't mind, I would prefer to discuss them with you in person. 
I see. Only via the telephone, as you wish. May I ask then whether it is true that you commanded that Sir William's coffin must stay closed during the entire funeral? I'm sorry, madam, but I have to ask questions, unfortunately. I'd be grateful if you could help me, and if you'd kindly answer my other questions as well. Yes, it is a logical justification. Were these physical deformities the cause of, let's say, the unpopularity of Sir William? I understand people are superstitious, but I'd never expect Father Mulcahy to be against a burial. Did he say why? I understand you didn't agree with him. Cremation was unthinkable. I can imagine how difficult it must have been for you. I understand, and I don't want to nag at you. So far, it's enough. Thank you for your time. I think she's a very smart lady. She knows exactly what to do to avoid saying any more than she wants to. Maybe a few facts that are probably of low importance, but one never knows. For instance, why Father Mulcahy wanted the body cremated? Probably to make sure the zombie was dead. Smart man. A madman at large. Dun dun dun. I need to talk to Lady Miriam. Would you show me the way? But, sir, I already explained to you, it's impossible. If she wishes to talk to you, then only via the telephone. I see. I just need to know who signed Sir William's death certificate and what the cause of death was. It would be best to talk to the family doctor. I will ask, but my lady is really busy at the moment. Wait a minute. Had I not heard the voice on the phone, I would think there is actually no Lady Miriam. And really, the maid is the only person living here. That's a bit far-fetched. What the hell? I'm afraid my lady doesn't wish to speak to you. Did she give any reason? Don't be offended, but she said it was none of your business. Oh, well. Do you happen to know who Sir William's personal doctor was? I really don't know, but I wouldn't tell you anyway. I don't want to lose my job. It's all right. I'll find the information elsewhere. Stubborn old lady. She doesn't make this any easier. How long have you been working for the Lewis family? I'm here only since this morning. Can you tell? No, not at all. Was it hard to get this job? I guess I shouldn't say, but that Lady Miriam can be picky. Why? Money issues? I hope not, but do you know the rumours about Sir William? I've heard something. No wonder people are scared. But you are not. I had no choice. But if something goes wrong, I'll run away. Just don't tell me, lady. She's only been there half a day. Odd. <laughs> 